Okay, less is more. But at times, on your Lutron Homers project, you may feel limited when programming keypads that have a small number of buttons. Don't worry. In this video, we're going to review the multiple functions that we can have on a single button. And I'll show you how I take advantage of those functions in my own homeworks project, especially when it comes to control the light in bathroom. So without any further ado, <laughs> let's do it. In this bathroom here, let's see how I would normally operate the lights from an Alice keypad with a single button. In the Lutron designer software, first, I set button type to toggle to have access to the on and off program tab here. I set the LED logic to room, so the LED on the button will be on as long as we have light in the room, regardless of the level. Now, on the press on tab here, I'll program, let's call it a bright scene to use the bathroom where the dawn light will be set to 75%, the LED strip set to 80%, wall light to 80%, and low level lighting to 25%. Then I go back to the assignable items and select fans and set my bathroom fan on here. And I have my bathroom bright scene program. Good. Now to program the off, I'll go to the off level programming tab here and look here. Homeworks has already set all my light levels to off 0%. It has also switched off the fan, to which I'm gonna add a 60 second delay here. So, no need to use fans with built-in timer, as we can control fans timeout directly from the designer software, which I prefer. Okay, I have now an on and off scene. Great. But before we go any further, this video is brought to you by Paul Cinemas. Pearl Cinemas is the UK finest AV distributor inspiring and supporting the largest community of integrators since 2003. From Ratu Select to Homeworks, I've actually been purchasing all my Lutron equipment at Pearl's for over a decade. They also helped me to expand my business beyond lighting control thanks to their expertise in home cinemas, which is second to none. And thanks to their world-class showroom located in Stansted, their team of highly trained designers, as well as all the brands they represent, they are the perfect partner on each of my projects, helping me delivering the best experience for all my customers. So if you also want to take your project to the next level, feel free to get in touch with Pulse using the link in the comment section below. And you can also use Pulse's web shop for the purchase of Lutron equipment required on your next project. Now, let's go back to our tutorial. Now, let's say that I need to have all the lighting circuits full on for some reasons. To clean the bathroom, for example. What can I do? I only have one button and it's already been used with that bright scene I just programmed. Well, look, if I go on that tab here, I can add a double tap function on that button. First, I need to tick the box here to allow double tap programming. And as soon as I do so, Homeworks automatically added all the circuits I had in a press on tab to the double tap programming tab. <laughs> With their level automatically set to full on 100% and that's exactly what I want. Great. Of course, if needed, I can modify the levels here, but I'm gonna leave them as they are in this example. Now, what if, at times, my client needs to adjust the bathroom lights for some reason, like to lower it down a bit so they can have a nice, relaxed bath? Where do you program that on a single button keypad? Well, you can go and tick that box here to activate the circle dim function on that button. So, as you walk in, you turn the bathroom on, the bright scene will come on. Then, if you press and hold on that single button, all the light will start dimming down until you release the button once you're happy with that new light level. 
Then, if you press and hold again, this time all the lighting circuits will start raising back up. And when you release the button, they'll stop. And if you press again, they will lower again, so on and so forth, hence the name Cycle Dim. One thing you need to double check with Cycle Dim though, if you go to Tools, then Project Settings here, then select the Programming tab and under General, go to Cycle Dim Raise Lower Direction. Here, I like to make sure it is set to Lower. So, when I press and hold the very first time on my button, it will start with lowering my scene first. I found this to be more useful for my clients, as opposed to start with the raise action. Now, let's see how I can add a bit of je ne sais quoi to my Lutron homework system. <laughs> I often like to implement a motion sensor to improve convenience in the operation of lighting in bathrooms at night time. In general, I use IP67 motion sensors that are perfect in rooms with a higher level of humidity. Now, although I use very efficient motion sensors, they are using infrared detection to detect the human heat in a room. And because they have to be line of sight, they are not really meant to detect people through glass, having a shower for example. In addition, heat and steam in bathrooms can sometimes be a challenge for IR detection. Therefore, I prefer using motion sensor for nighttime operation only when the client needs to use the bathrooms in the middle of the night. But that's just my personal preference. So back to the design tab here, under control, I'm gonna add this third party sensor in my bathroom here. Give it a name. And the great thing is that I can assign this sensor to a contact closure input at the back of the Alice keypad, as I'm doing here. And you can check one of my earlier tutorials that cover everything about using third-party motion sensor with Lutron Homeworks. Link in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to support this channel. Once the motion sensor is assigned, I go back to programming here and select occupancy. Then I select my bathroom here where my motion sensor is physically fitted. Now I'm going to change the programming type here to conditional. On the Occupy tab here, I'm going to add a condition that would be based on the time of the day. So, if time of the day, which is a period of time, is from midnight, 12 a.m., to let's say 5 in the morning, 5 a.m., then I'll add an action here to run if that button is pressed during that period of time. Action 1. So, what is this action one? Well, I go to the action list here and select action one, which is nothing more than another scene. So when someone walk in the bathroom between midnight and 5 a.m., I'll trigger a simple scene where I'll have, for example, the LED strips set to 15% and the low level lighting set to 40%. A nice low scene to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. And I'm going to name this action Night Scene here. Very good. Next, I go to the Unoccupied tab where I'll program a similar condition between midnight and 5 a.m. So I select Add Action to run, well, a new scene. I click on Add Action here again, then Edit Action and select this new scene. And here, I will switch off my LED strip and my low-level lighting. After a timeout of two minutes that are also set up here and I'll name it Bathroom Off. Great! So, let's review our programming. At any time of the day, when client press on this single button here, she will activate a nice bright scene to use the bathroom. That's the press on action here. She can adjust the light level if needed using the cycle dim function. She can also double tap that same button to bring all the lighting circuits to full on to clean the bathroom for example. And then the client can switch everything off 
when she exits the room. That's the off-level programming here. Okay. All of that from a single button. Amazing. In addition, from midnight to 5 a.m., if the client walks in a bathroom to use the toilet, for example, Homeworks will trigger automatically the night scene that offers a very nice low-level lighting. And when the client exits the bathroom, she won't have to touch anything. After two minutes, Homeworks will switch off the lights automatically. Just like that. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> voilà, there you have it. How to program a single button to do different things so you can optimize the number of buttons on your Lutron keypads. If you found this video useful, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Adelux YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much. Good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.